With the Sky Dome work crews working overtime to get down the dirt, the Blue Jays had to wait a while before getting down to batting practice. So in the meantime, they put the pitchers through their paces, including Pat Henkin, who gets the first start at home. Coming in on the bus last night, we're seeing the snow and, you know, being from a cold climate, very similar from Toronto, uh, the weather's great. I love this weather. Um, I love Toronto and the city. I can't wait to start. I'm excited. Something Henkin wasn't last season, a season in which he led the American League in hits and runs surrendered. But armed with a new pitch to his repertoire, Henkin hopes to return to form. The one thing I did was I added a cutter to uh, my repertoire. I think that uh, on days when I can't get my curveball over, I'm going to be able to throw a cutter. It's a, it's a pitch that's quick, late breaking, and, and uh, it's like a slider, a true slider. So hopefully I can get it in on lefties and away to righties. The first batter for the Blue Jays will be Otis Nixon, the new leadoff man, but still with the same old role of catalyst. That's nothing new. I've been play playing for 13 years now. It's now I'm not going to change my game, and you know that's what I do best, and that's what I'm basically going to come out and uh, continue, continue to do for this ball club. This ball club also needs John Olerud to produce, and after yet another quiet spring, the quiet giant is making some noise with two home runs and five runs driven in after five games. You know, I didn't uh, get as many hits as I'd like to in the spring, but was working with Willie on my swing, trying to get, uh, you know, get some good mechanics back into my swing, try to get rid of those bad habits and uh, you know, work on pulling the, ball, the inside pitch and, and uh, driving the ball the other way with the outside pitch. The pitch this season is once again patience. For the first time in a long time, the Blue Jays are rebuilding. And though that likely means a long season of losing, they're happy to be home, having won three of their first five. We're ready for it. We're excited, and um, you know we, we had a good we had a good road trip. You know we ended up three and two, and anytime you can come up on the road, it's always a benefit. And for the benefit of the fans, the Blue Jays will bring back Dave Steeb and George Bell to help kick off the team's 20th season celebration. A celebration that brings into focus one of the great ironies of this game, that after two decades replete with two world championships, the Blue Jays are again just trying to look respectable in one of the toughest divisions in baseball. At Sky Dome, I'm Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.